Today I am here to present you about the detail of monocoque fuselage in most recent aircraft. Aircraft structure components or most aircraft structure include five major components. First of all, fuselage is used to accommodate crew, passenger, and cargo provides the structure for wing and empennage assembly. Second, wings. This part is used to generate lift force to support aircraft. Third, empennage is the part that provides stability during flight by using rudder in vertical stabilizer and elevator in horizontal stabilizer. Four, landing gear used to support aircraft when parked and absorb shock when landing. The last part is propulsion system used to provide engines and also generate thrust. Fuelage structure. Fuelage structure has three types, which are thrust structure, semi monocoque structure, and monocoque structure. Thrust structure use member to carry tension and compression load. Semi monocoque structure use skin to carry torque in shear flow from and use subset to carry tension and compression in form of bending stress. The word monocoque come from Greek word mono, which means single and the French word cog, which means shell. Monocoque is substructural technique in which stresses and reacted by thin membrane or a shell of material rather than a collection of beams. Such structures are stiff in bending and light and are therefore ideal for weight sensitive vehicles such as airplanes. A good way to visualize a monocoque structure is to fold a piece of paper into a cylinder and tape the free edge using something like scotch tape. Although the resulting structure is stiff in bending, this will reveal its greatest weakness, structural instability. A monocoque structure has a great tendency to fail in bucking or clipping, something easily demonstrated by a person standing on top of an empty aluminum beverage can. The empty container can support a ground man, but push the side in with pencil with the person standing on it and the can will be compressed in the blink of an eye. This instability necessitates the addition of an internal support structure that resists this failure mode. Such a support structure is generally an assembly of frames, bulkheads, stringers, and long drones that show in the picture. The combination is lifted to a semi monocoque construction, although the addition of the support structure adds to the overall weight of the configuration. It retains its right and stiff characteristic while reaction lifting the applied load. The advent of the monocoque material. In the beginning, the aircraft was built by using wood or steel lock as a structure and the fabric was used to cover the skin. Mm -hmm. 
In 1912, the aircraft was built by using thin wood to make 3D structure and using crew as a glider. In 1918, the first material monocoque aircraft was built by Claudius Donier. In 1960 until now, aircraft has been built by using composite materials. The composite material is a fiber reinforced matrix system. The matrix is a glue that is used to bond fiber together, forming a shape to carry the load. The most common matrix is epoxy resin in aircraft because it has the properties that are strong and have good high temperature resistant performance. The most common fibers are fiberglass and carbon fiber. The pictures have shown you on the right. First is fiberglass has well ability to resist tension, compressions, and impact. It was easy to use and inexpensive. Second is carbon fiber. Carbon fiber has real ability to resist tension and compression more than fiberglass, but ability to resist impact less than fiberglass. Carbon fiber can reduce depth and has less corrosion material. Advantage and disadvantage of monocoque structures. Monocoque structures can carry more load than truss structures and also can fly at higher speed. But this advantage of monocoque structure, they were heavy and thick skin because have to be very strong. Monocoque structure has to require more maintenance and not strong enough for large aircraft. All of above, the advance of the monocoque structures was a major breakthrough in the development of aircraft structures. Thank you for your attention.